Hello and welcome to Generative Geek. In today's video, I've got a very exciting tutorial lined up for you that's going to change the way you interact with AI models right from your browser. We are going to make use of Olama. Olama, if you don't know, allows you to run powerful open source LLM models right from your local laptop, right? Ola local machines. There's, you, know, you don't have to pay anyone for running these models, right? These are open source. Olama makes it possible for you. It also makes it possible for you to go out and build applications using these, uh, these models, right? Through its integration with Langchain. Today, what we are going to do is we are going to take Olama and we are going to install Llama 3, which is the latest model released by latest open source model released by Meta, a very powerful model. We are going to use the 8 billion parameter model. It, it comes in two variants, 8 billion and 70 billion, as you can see here. I'm going to make use of the 8 billion parameter. And with that, we will then go out and give it a UI using a Chrome extension called Page Assist. So as part of this tutorial, we are going to go out. We are going to install Olama and then make use of Olama to chat with, um, with Llama 3. Right. So you will be able to chat with Llama 3 right from our right from our terminal as well as from our browser, giving you a very chat GPT like interface, something like this, right? So let me just quickly show you, you will get something like this and we'll be able to say, how are you doing today, right? So something like this, where you will have all the previous chat histories, you'll be able to select which model you want to talk with and, uh, and you know, do tons of things, giving you the feel of chat GPT, but without paying anyone for it. So let's get started. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll head over to olama.com. It's o -L -L -A -M -A dot com, And once you are there, you will see that, you know, there is a download button. Now, Olama is available for Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. So once you press the download button, you will see, <clears throat> sorry, you will see that it will notify you to download for the relevant OS that you are on. So you should download the binary file, the, the file for your specific OS. Right, so I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to download the Mac OS file. Uh, we'll press this download button, and when I press this download button, you will see that you know a download starts. Now it's downloading for me. This is roughly a 176 MB file, so it's going to take a little while. Uh, and once the download is finished, the next step for us is to go out and start installing the file. So my 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 download is done. I'll just open this file, and um, once it's in open. I'll just click on the um, on the button and uh, it will say Olama is an app. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, move to application so that it's always there. And once Olama runs, uh, okay. So it says, well, welcome to Olama. We'll say next, install the command line. And the command line is useful because, you know, it will allow us to uh, uh, do a lot of model imports that I'm going to talk about. Um, so now that it is done, We'll now go to the terminal window. And before we go to the terminal window, let's quickly also see what all models are available on Olama, right? So on this page, click on this models link and let's see what models are available. Let's quickly browse through, right? So we see Llama 3, which was recently uh, released by Meta, a very powerful model. We're going to use this model today, uh, but there's Phi 3, which Microsoft recently released, Aya, Mistral, Gemma, Mixtral, a lot of these models are available and the process of uh, installing all of these models is really simple, right? So uh, also once you have installed, you will see that, you know, Olama icon start showing up on your Mac. Uh, as on, if you're on Windows, it will start showing up on your toolbar. Um, it's basically saying Olama is running, right? So if there is any application um, that is making use of some model uh, on Olama, if you see this, that means that the service in the background is running. Now let's just quickly um, go to our terminal window and see uh, the way to way to look at what all models are available. Let's just qu quickly just write Olama and see what comes back. Now this tells us that something is available, right? So things are there, like you know, Olama is available. I'll just do a clear, come back and say Olama, and uh, we'll say Olama run. And the way I'm I'm not making these commands up. You can just go to Llama three models. If you go to this page you will see that, hey, the most capable openly available LLM. And, you know, uh, it will also talk about how can you actually 
uh, run this model. So we'll say Olama run Llama 3. And if you type this, it basically will uh, pull in the necessary files. So I'm just going to say Olama run Llama 3. And once I do this, it will start pulling in the manifest. Now, you know, the default is the 8 billion parameter file, which can be locally installed and can wonderfully run. It's a 4.7 GB file. So we we'll let this manifest file get pulled down, let this model be available and then come back uh, once this is done. Yeah. So we are almost in the last few seconds when this should get installed. At least this large manifest file which was getting pulled, that pull should be done. Now we have maybe some other smaller files that are getting pulled. Um, this is, you know, if you want on a slower computer, my suggestion is keep the installs on and keep doing your work. It will uh, happen in the background um, uh, if you're on a slower internet, not a slower computer, but a slower internet, right? So, um, and once this is done, uh, it's essentially the command that we type, Olama run Llama 3, uh, what we are saying is, hey, install Llama 3 model by Meta locally on my laptop, right? So it will be available. Now, if you see, send a message uh, that and slash for help. Let's just see a slash question mark. It's it's telling me that, hey, the model is installed and these are all the commands available, right? So uh, maybe I can just say, hey, um, can I do a clear now? Um, I'll just say buy for now and then come back um, because I don't want it to be so low uh, that, you know, it's not visible to you. Um, so I'll just say Olama oh, run Llama uh, 3. And see, okay, so now as soon as I do this, it's not again installing because the model is already available, right? So, so it's say, uh, hey, I want your help uh, with writing a single sentence which explains the beauty of the nature uh, in its wildest form, right? Help me with that. Right? I just gave it some random task. Whatever came to my mind, I just typed it out. Right, So I just asked it to make one sentence. And you see, now this is Llama 3 on my local computer. Right, I can have a UI on top of it and that's the next part of this video. Uh, so um, let me just quickly also tell you what are the other Llama things that you can try out. Um, so once you have uh, Llama installed, you can just say Olama list and it will tell you what are the other local models available on your system, right? So on my system right now, only Llama 3 is available and it's roughly 4.7 GB, right? But I can go back here and say, hey, you know what? I have Llama 3, but I also want maybe Gamma, right? So I can go out and then install Gamma the same way, right? So if I go to Gamma, I'll get the same thing, right? Go Olama run gamma 2 billion parameters or you want the 7 billion parameters. Let's say I want the 2 billion parameters. The way out is similar, right? So I'll come here. I'll say Olama run gamma 2b. It will start pulling in the manifest file. It will download the manifest file, install the model. It's 1.7 GB. And then once it's done, it says roughly 8 minutes it'll take. Um, it's a TCP connection. So it's the size is increasing now. Like, you know, the speed is increasing now. Um, uh, and uh, so it's going, to, it's, it's going to be done in one minute now. So so roughly, uh, when you have this file installed, after that, you, you will have various models available and you can do whatever multi-model kind of an application on top of, you know, all running from your local computer. You don't need to pay anyone for that, right? Except for the electricity bill or your uh, Wi-Fi or internet charges. You don't have to pay anything to anyone. Uh, so once this Gamma model is installed, our next step is how do you go out and where, i'll also show you where are these files getting saved right so in case if you ever want to see hey where are all these models actually going and getting saved i'll show you that now post this so i'm on the github olama page and here you can see that you know there are the faq has tons of questions that i believe you should anyways go through in all my videos you will you will find that you know i recommend that go through the documentation most of these open source projects have very amazing like you know really good documentation and you can learn a lot just by going through the documentation so like you know hey how do i know which models are loaded onto the gpu uh, just do olama ps let's just quickly do olama ps uh, just to see which models are available so my gamma 2b is right now available in it's like loaded in the memory right it'll probably get flushed out of memory in, in a while if no nothing is getting used uh, but here i wanted to show you what are the default for 
uh, where are the models stored so if i am on a mac my models are stored in dot olama in within the root slash models right same for linux it ha it is a very different uh, directory and for windows you have the different default directory right so let's just quickly go to this uh, olama slash models and see what's available right so i'll just say uh, cd and now i am here um, I'll do ls, ls dash lart, and you can see that you know there are manifest files and there are blobs. Uh, so I can quickly go to blobs and see what comes back. So I have the the uh, the hash IDs for a lot of uh, these models are available here, but maybe the manifest is what I where I need to go. And here I can see there is a registry, uh, but this is where actually Olama saves all the models, right? So um, this is what I wanted to show you quickly. Now let's start building the Chrome plugin, not building, but installing the Chrome plugin, which will interact with Olama. So now with Olama installed and Llama 3 available on the laptop, let's give it a UI, right? Because who wants to go and chat on the terminal when you can do it on the UI? One of the good things, of chat GPT and the reason it became very popular was not because it was available on terminal, but because it was available on a web browser, right? So anybody who's no, who's a non coder could come and interact with it, right? So, so uh, the way we are going to set up our UI is by using this Chrome extension called page assist. It's a, it's a wonderful uh, plugin. Um, I have been trying this extension for a while now and um, you know, it gives a web UI for all your local AI models, right? So, um, wonderful model. So you, the way you get started is you first um, uh, go ahead and add it to Chrome. So I'm just going to add it to Chrome. So add this extension. Once the extension is added uh, by clicking extensions in the window menu. Okay. So I'm just going to click here. I have page assist. Let's just go to page assist. It says Olama is running. If I quit Olama, maybe it will say Olama is not running. We'll try that out in a while. And here you can see if you select a model, whatever local models are available, it will, it will start showing those models. Now, before I do this, let me quickly run Olama PS once again. And you see there is no model in the memory right now, right? So Olama PS shows you which models are loaded in the memory. Nothing is loaded in memory right now. I'll come back to my page assist and I'll say, okay, I want to use Llama 3 latest, right? So, and uh, we are going to, it also has this very interesting uh, search the internet um, uh, tab, which is available, right? So. Uh, maybe I'll go away from the full screen so that I don't know if sometimes what happens is on YouTube, you can't see the last, the, the, the last end of the frame, right? So, uh, so I'm just shortening this, um, uh, this browser window for a while, right? So, so you type the message, whatever message, and if I want the internet to be searched, I'll say, uh, what happened during the latest, uh, India elections for Lok Sabha, right? So. So we had, uh, please set an embedding model on the settings RAG page, right? So like we, we know that uh, you need an embedding model because that's the, and I'll say, I'll take Llama 3 latest. So we'll save this once the, and you have a lot of other, like, you know, if the chunk size, you don't want thousand, you want 2000, you can, you can define all of that, right? So, but I'll, for now, I'm just keeping whatever is there uh, as is, I'm not adding anything extra here, right? So. This is our uh, UI, like, you know, if you just go to this URL, you will see that, you know, it's saying Olama is running, right? And this is basically the endpoint where all of this, this, this plugin is actually making calls, right? So keep alive for five minutes till then this connection is going to be open. Let's just come back here and say what happened during the latest uh, Lok Sabha elections in india right so i'm just typing this it's going to do the search and let's see what what it comes back with i have no idea i'm trying it out for the first time myself right so with this with this question right so but it's supposed to search the internet according to my search the latest took place on may 25 here's the bharti janta registered a clean sweep in delhi defeated the AAP congress uh okay it, it is only talking about delhi it is not talking about india as such uh, but let's let me just but whatever it whatever results it came back with are right right so it 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 did some search basis the search whatever it found it then just summarized and gave me the results uh, is NDA forming the government in India right so so let's just let's just ask this question and see what it comes back with as a matter of fact NDA is actually forming the government in India now so 
the, it appears that the National Democratic has indeed formed the government in India, according to an article. Uh, NDA leaders unanimously. This suggests uh, this definitely doesn't look right because while uh, uh, while all of this is correct, this could not have happened on May 26 because the results themselves came came out on June 4th, right? So you see, there are limitations as far as the search is concerned. So it's not a perplexity killer at the moment. But let's say if you ask it anything else, uh, what is sign 90? Uh, so let's see what, what it comes back with. Uh, what is sign 90? Sign 90 is one. Intrigonometry sign is defined. Um, so, you know, now this, like this, you have, uh, if you want a new chat and, you know, you want the gamma 2b to be the model, um, what is sign 90? Let's see what gamma 2b comes back with, right? So so I have like, you know, sign 90 is 0. It's saying sign 90 is 0, right? So so you see <laughs> you see it, it, both of them responding very differently. Now it's up to you which one you want to pick. Uh, it says sign 90 is 1, which is correct. But this guy says sign 90 is 0, right? So, um, so yeah, so me... Uh, this more this tutorial is more of a way to help you understand how you can have um, you know uh, various models running locally and how you can actually chat with them. Uh, I can I can continue and say, hey, are you sure? Right. And the good part is uh, there is a history that is maintained. Right. So okay, no. So are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. The given information is consistent. Um, clearly uh, that the national is forming there is context loss here for sure it there was history getting maintained but the moment i said what is sign 90 um it 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 got confused right so uh, it 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 really got confused this is very clear right are you sure okay are you sure let's see what it comes back with right so yes sign 90 is indeed equal to 0 okay Let's let's ask Google what is sign 90, right? So it says sign 90 is close to uh, 0.89, uh, which is one basically. But I don't know why this guy is saying. Maybe that's a problem with the 2B model, right? So it's two little parameters, and therefore, uh, if I ask Lama 3, it said uh, uh, what is sign 90. Uh, the Llama 3 model should reply back with a 1, right? So Llama 3 is indeed a very powerful model. We are running the 8 billion parameter model here. Um, and so this this is it, guys. Uh, go out, install new models and see, you know, what which one you want to play with. Um, uh, this was the tutorial just to help you out understand what how you can do this. If you enjoyed, if you liked something, if you learned something new, please do comment, like, share, subscribe. It all helps my channel. And um, that's the least I ask of you. Thank you so much.